Welcome back, it's Wise Bunky here. We'll show you how to replace the detonation knock sensor in a Honda. Any vehicle is basically the same. So a little uh, description first. This is a Honda V6 3.5 liter engine. We'll show you how to change this detonation knock sensor. Sometimes you hear knock, 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 knock. Either it's the EGR or it's the detonation. If there's no checking in light related to it, sometimes it's better just to replace this as it's going. Uh, the location of it is always towards the to uh, at the top of the engine and uh, where the number one cylinder is located so in this case this is a six cylinder v6 so timing belt is here underneath <coughs> now number one two three four five six is honda now so it should be located somewhere somewhere here under under the intake manifold so you have to take this enter thing off the top plenum off and uh, access the sensor now, if it's a four cylinders, if it's uh, number one is on this side, then you will still find it on this side. If the engine starts on the other side, that means your transmission is on the other side, and uh, that side and engine is on the, number one is on this side, then your sensor will be on this side once you take the plenum out. It's always under the uh, intake manifold. Okay. Now we'll show you uh, what to do. You need a flat head, you need a number 10 millimeter socket to take this off. And let's get going and see what else you need. Disconnect the battery terminal just for safety. So disconnect the negative battery terminal and uh, secure it, put it away so it doesn't come back and reconnect by itself. Okay. So disconnect. <clears throat> took these four bolts out now just pull it that's the uh, engine so we'll be taking this center plane amount detonation knock sensor is basically right here that's the cable that's going in so it's right under this so disconnect Take this, loosen this bolt, disconnect these uh, connectors, it's pretty easy. This is the clip, all clips, so you press the clip, pull it, and it'll come out. Well, it's hard to do with one hand. Anyway, so, yeah, like that. And uh, then, Take the plenum out. Have to take this, all these nuts and bolts out. Take the cover out, and there will be more bolts underneath. Uh, just take those out, and the plenum will come out. So we use the 10 millimeter. This to take this uh, nuts and bolt out, as I said, and. Let's see what's uh, there's the gasket there. There's the gasket. Make sure it doesn't break. The other video previously posted shows how to how to clean this EGR intake. Just to recap a little bit, if you it's all clean here, if you want, if once you open it, you'll probably find it's full of carbon, so you can clean this. That's the that's connected to the EGR valve right here, so you can clean all this. It's the opportunity to clean as you take the plenum off. Now use 10 millimeter again to take take these nuts and bolts out. There's about nine or ten right there then this will come out disconnect this at the back this hose we have disconnected this already probably have to disconnect this uh, for the detonation knock sensor here we have to lift this 
sometimes some vehicles you'll find that we don't have to disconnect this fully you can just take it out disconnect it on this side and move it away is there a uh, this is a 12 millimeter, so you need a 12 millimeter socket here. Okay, it's out. So there, take this gaskets out. This is going to come off easily now small gasket don't mix them <laughs> so we have to this lower intake manifold now it's easier to access the detonation knock sensor, which is right here. So it looks like this. Some people have managed to take it off, show here, take it off without, without removing all this. It depends on the engine. Okay. Okay, so the connector for the detonation knock sensor close right here. The knock sensor itself is right here. So we basically have to take the fuel rail off. Disconnect this. Once we disconnect this, we should be able to access Maybe half of this intake come off fuel rail and then take it out, put the new one back in. Now installation is the reverse of removal. Okay, don't forget to share and subscribe.